All right, hello everybody. Well, uh, this is part two, seven, uh, seven cup turner for uh, making epoxy resin. You see what I've gotten done there so far. Got all these on here. All seven. See those? Okay. This is going to be a short video. I'm not going to work on this very long. I'm kind of limited to time at the moment. I'm going to cut a bottom board. I already showed you the uh, front the last time on part one. Oops, I better close this one. My Loctite. That's thread lock, which uh, when I screwed these on there, don't forget to use this so they don't come loose. I need to cut a four footer. All the lengths are going to be four feet. The saw is over below. I don't have room for it to be up there. bottom board so what I'm going to do and remember we had made this I put these I cut short little inserts made these things they're going to work like a bearing which they will never wear out like this so I'm going to have to do this Flip it over like that. All the wires out of the way. <clears throat> well, I tell you what, I tried to start on this earlier. We had a. It's raining again. We had a really bad storm with tornadoes near us. We're uh, I'm over here in East Texas. Got pretty rough. I'm going to put this bottom on. Make a box. Stuff in it. So I should have cleaned off the table first. It's not going to want to sit still. Uh, for this, uh, I'm just going to tack it together with some screws for now. I'm going to put just four screws just to hold it together. But I'm most likely, I'm going I'm to put, uh, I have a nail gun, a trim gun, for like, you know, inside baseboards and stuff, that kind of set up. I'm going to use that as well. But just for now, I'm going to throw some screws in it to hold it still. Find the right. I like four, three or four drills at once with different bits so I don't have to keep changing them. Oh, and uh oh, I gotta change this one. I had a little mess of these over here. I know I had a little one in here somewhere. There we go. I think that's a T20 torch. I 
These are like inch and a quarter wood screws. I said I'm just going to try to get it to where it's not moving around. Ah, I don't want to cooperate. You have to be really careful. I, I think I'm going to, this wood will probably spit, split because it's cedar. Best to pre-drill. I don't want to get it flush because it'll split that wood really quick. Down this end, I'm gonna probably be out of the camera. Basically, you be careful not to do that too much. These got to be cut down. I just want to show you what we have. Once I put the top, it'll be square. Kind of give me a problem there. Basically, here you go. These I've got a, a pre-drilled hole in here and put a little screw, put a screw through that so that that's attached to the motor. Okay. So anyway, I'm gonna cut this this uh, part two is gonna be kind of short, and uh, on the next one I'll most likely uh, do all the electrical. Get a top on it and uh, finish it up on the next round. Thanks, folks. Appreciate y'all for watching.